I know, I know. You guys want out. Let me clean your dishes and get you water. These are just disgusting. Doing, you're crazy. Don't eat. They started laying. The other day there were three eggs. Yesterday there was only one, and today there's two. So they're barely starting. Only three of them are girls, and the other two are dregs. And I am hoping to incubate some duck eggs. You guys enjoy your breakfast. They've done some water here, even though it's raining. It's probably gonna fill up with clean water, anyways. Well, of course, they're fighting. <laughs> Did you miss me? Oh, I miss you, God. I'm taking care of your aunties and uncles. Yep. Mm -hmm. Hi Gaia, you're a little crazy. Hi Mocha, hi oh, sweet girlie. Oh, you big bed. You shouldn't have that big of a bed. And you, you're a skinny legend, just like your mama. Biting me. That's not very cute. Gosh. Mocha is really funny. Mm. Remember? Remember? Take care of your sister. Tell her. No camera eating. She feels like she can find anybody from that chair. Okay. You think you're way taller than everyone else? No splash, you ain't. Look. These are just some attempt at grafting and it seems to not want to focus. You can see right there. Some are starting to get green. Although I don't see any roots just yet, so they might be just tiny. Look at that. So We'll see what happens to this. So today is day three inside. Today is Friday and we put her in here with her babies on Tuesday night. It was actually Wednesday because it was like at 1 a.m. but she just made a mess of her water. Now I'm putting groceries away so she is uh, very curious about what I brought but you keep eating your hay. I bring her hay in like little bunches and she finishes completely to the point that you can see the straw underneath. <laughs> she's a little messy eater, but she's eating alfalfa pellets three times a day because I give her little by little because I, the other day, if you remember, she was with some kind of hiccup and I ended up thinking that she was either doing that because she was scared because there were too many people in here and the dogs and everything coming in and out because she stopped doing it the next day or that she overate. I read that it could be because of overeating. So I'm giving her 
because I'm a Papa Pilot three times a day, but just little by little, so I don't overfeed. And these babies are doing so good. I'll show you in a minute their their weights. But now you can start to see their different colors. Mr. Cow, black and white. Mr. Black, all black. And no, 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 no. We're not stepping on children. We're not stepping on children. <sighs> Camera on you. You're so pretty. Then we have our little girl right there with a little bit of uh, beige or light cream color with her white and silver. And a little white boy who has a few spots like his sister. He has silver and he has a little bit of brown in his neck, behind his neck I should say. And he's so, so pretty. Clara's taking good care of them, but she's stepping on the little ones way too much. So tomorrow she's going to go out, she's going to go into the kidding pen with her kids for a few more days. I think I'm going to keep her there for the weekend. Maybe a few more days so they can put on some weight, these kids, and then let them out. They're not fast enough to be running away from other goats trying to be mean to them so I think it's gonna be safer if I just keep them to well, you know with their mom for now and we're gonna wait them and see how they're doing hopefully today we can see more improvement right Clara Clara's been a good girl she's we took her out yesterday as I showed you and she didn't do that well with the other girls she turned into a buck wanting to do buck things and breed the girls and stinging her tongue out and I think she's in mama mode and she needs to stay with her kids um, kids are being more active right now they're sleeping but they are slowly getting more of that hop around and so tomorrow's gonna be the day Clara where I'm gonna trust you I don't know if a hundred percent though I don't know if I'm going to leave Mr. Black and Mr. Cow there. Because they're just still little, but we'll wait them today and tomorrow and figure that out. That's Mr. Cow, the one with the white pole. Mr. Black, his head is over there. You can see it. At this point, in the beginning, she was very exhausted and resting a lot. She still sleeps a lot and she hangs out with her kids. I let them out and they hop around um, but Clara realized that she can head by this and uh, so we can't leave her alone here. There's always somebody watching her. And okay. okay. Let's see Mr. Cow. Mr. Cowman. Oh my gosh I'm sorry I just cut myself so if you see blood it's me. Apparently I'm still bleeding. Look at Mr. Cow. He is a too big boy. Mm, not really. <laughs> well, he is 2.5 ounces. So not quite the 4 ounces that he needs per day. But he is growing. Mm. 2.5 ounces is a lot for a little cow. You want your baby? I'm sorry. Okay, here he is. Okay, Mr. Blackman. You're next. Here is Mr. Blackman. He is doing so much better. Oh, <laughs> look at him. He is so cute. Oh, he is 2.5, so he cut up. Hello, Mr. Blockman. Mm. I'm kissing you. Okay, here's your child. I'm sure he did because he's so heavy. He is. Whoa, 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 little man. Whoa, 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 little man. He's three point three pounds and 10 ounces. So you're a little bee. Mm. 
Here's your baby. Our little girl. She is two pounds fifteen. Okay, stay still. Two pounds fifteen ounces. They're all growing. They're all being more active. And now I started to notice which ones are the ones insisting on nursing and kind of pushing the first little two boys, the black boys, to not nurse. So those are the white ones, which are the little girl and the boy that is already three pounds. He won't stop nursing. <laughs> so you can see it in the results. Other than that, they've been super active. They are more hungry. They are looking more healthy. And tomorrow, it's gonna be the big day, tomorrow or Saturday, that they're gonna go into the kidding pen where they were born. So that way they can continue this bond with mom. They're not fast enough to run from other goats. So I don't think it's the time for them to go out just yet. But um, I still have to decide if the two little boys, the black boys, can stay with mom by themselves or if I just should supplement. I think I'm still gonna supplement with her milk with a bottle.